You ready? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to need to start with your half sheet. And the most important part of your drawing is the line that separates the building from the sky. If you only have that, you can still move forward and you'll find the rest of the details in paint. It might also be helpful to have this little goose head shape, which is one of your shadow shapes. So here's the neck and the bill and the little eye of the goose. It's also somewhat important to have the line of shadow where the light is hitting this side of the building and it's not really hitting this side. So these lines are somewhat important as well. But even if you only have that, you can move forward. What we're gonna do is a graphite transfer. So when I turn this over at first, you can't see any of the lines, but if you hold it up to the light, those lines will show through and you can give yourself an indication of where those lines are. It doesn't need to be super exact. Just give yourself an idea like this. And you can also just cover the entire back with graphite, although that does take longer and it's probably going to have you focus too much on the details. But now we have like a really sketchy outline of what's on the backside. And from there we could take it to the easel. And now you don't just wanna trace this line once, you wanna kind of make a bold, broad area and make sure you're using one of the ebony pencils. But you'll trace a big area like this around what you just drew so that you, if you miss the line a little bit, um, if you were to miss this from the other side, it wouldn't transfer. So you make it broad enough so that when you transfer from the other side, it'll pass all the way through. So you should be able to do this fairly quickly. I'll show you here. You're not exactly tracing what you just did. You're going a little bit broader on everything. Okay, and you can see it's already transferred onto the board just a little bit, but then you'll take one of the large sheets of watercolor paper. We'll turn it back to your original side. Line up the top of your half sheet with the top of your watercolor paper. And you should be able to look through your paper and see a bold line on either side of what you're transferring. And now you just go through with firm pressure and press on that line. And you may want to occasionally peel this back to make sure that your line is transferring, but that's what you should get, okay? And if this line is light and sketchy, do not darken it. It'll be fine because we're just going to do a watercolor painting over the top. Dude. <laughs>